welcome boys and girls to another year of March Mafia. We're going to get right down and dirty into it with uh, The Godfather. Now The Godfather of course is directed by Francis Ford Coppola aka Nicolas Cage's closest family member and the plot of this astounding creation revolves around the third son Michael Corleone, son of Vito or Don Vito Corleone and this is basically his story of rise to power as he goes from a normal guy who wants nothing to do with the family business as what he tells his fiance or girlfriend in this movie at the beginning to almost a decade later when he's basically the lead mob boss of the crime family syndicate because this movie takes place over the course of 10 years so yeah you get lots of good character development this movie's three minutes away from three hours seven minutes longer than Scarface two minutes shorter than The Wolf of Wall Street guess what it flows right on by so quick this movie, this is my first time watching this movie too. All the other movies had slow builds when I first watched them. This movie flew by. This movie struck me from the moment I pushed play. God damn, this movie is awesome. Holy fuck me. Everything about this movie was great. The 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 setup, the development, the acting, the the violence. Because it's a mob movie. So of course, there's going to be violence in it. That's what a mob movie does. Especially when it goes to the end. And shit starts going down. You know? That's the best part about a mob movie. Besides the story. It's when the shit finally goes down. And people are going to end up dying. That's that's the, that, I love that part about mob movies. I don't know why. I just love it when people, especially if they're ignorant people, get their fucking comeuppance. It's awesome. Okay? Shit. <laughs> Marlon Brando. This is only my second movie I've ever seen Marlon Brando in. Of course, the first one was Superman, of course. Kills it. Fucking kills it. Vito Corleone is like one of my favorite mobsters of all time. It's... I like the way he carries himself. He carries himself like a businessman. He act, handles everything like business. You know, it's... Weird to have a gangster have everything handled that way. I don't even think he even says one swear word in this movie. Classy. I like it. I like his style. Although, from what we learned from somebody else in the movie, he's kind of grown softer. If it was him a decade, a, a decade or so ago, it wouldn't be the same ballpark. He probably would kill a motherfucker for even saying something smart. But nowadays, if something happens and one of his men comes up to him, he'll just slightly probably tap him on the shoulder and give him a nice talking to. So that was interesting. He basically got softer as he got older. That's odd. But he was still badass. Yeah. <laughs> and I love Michael's growth. Being normal. To actually getting sucker punched by the police captain which is really what let, lit the fuse under his ass and after that and things go down with that a year or so ago later or a couple of years later he's in Italy if I'm not mistaken living his, his other life and that's where you see the mobster coming out when something else happens while he's in Italy which is fucked up and he's forced to come back home and join the family business because he can't take it no more. It's bullshit. I love that. I fucking love that. And that you hear it here first, people. This movie is the first movie so far that is going to be on my top 100 movies of all time list. If that's any surprise to any, most of y'all, it's probably already on your guys' list, but this is the first movie to join that list. No other movie has joined that list yet. None. So, hell yes. The Godfather is the way to go. And it is the movie to watch. Take my badass silver approval. Dip it in 24 karat gold. What do you have? 
you have JWU's golden badass silver approval. Let me know what you guys think about this masterpiece of a film down below. It's not a movie, it's a film. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I haven't even got to the sequel yet. That's going to be kick-ass. Kick Can't wait.